Have you ever wondered how a single vehicle can change the course of a battle? Imagine a machine that is as fast as it is powerful, as protective as it is precise. The M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle is exactly that, a game changer. This military titan has served alongside some of the world's most advanced tanks and has become an indispensable asset to the US Army. But what makes the Bradley so special? How does it manage to be a strong, mobile, and efficient force on the battlefield? Stick with us, as we dive deep into the story of this armored legend and uncover why the M2 Bradley is still a crucial part of military operations today. In the 1960s, the United States Army was faced with a new challenge. The Soviet Union had introduced the BMP series of amphibious vehicles, which could carry infantry into battle while providing mobility, firepower, and protection. The U.S. needed something similar, something that could keep up with the pace of modern warfare and offer protection to troops in combat. The result of this challenge was the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. It was designed to carry soldiers into battle, protect them, and offer significant firepower to support ground troops. But it wasn't just a simple armored vehicle, it was a carefully crafted piece of machinery that brought together many elements to create a versatile force on the battlefield. The M2 Bradley is not just a vehicle, it's a fortress on tracks. With a crew of three driver, commander, and gunner, it carries seven fully armed soldiers. These infantrymen are protected by a robust armor scheme, allowing them to safely engage the enemy from within the vehicle. The Bradley's armor is made of a special aluminum and laminate combination that can withstand hits from 30mm armor-piercing rounds and rocket-propelled grenades. In addition, the vehicle can be equipped with Explosive Reactive Armor, ERA, to enhance its protection further. This means that, when it's on the battlefield, the Bradley can engage enemies without putting its crew at high risk. But protection isn't all the Bradley offers. The vehicle's primary armament is a 25mm cannon, capable of dealing with everything from lightly armored vehicles to fortified positions. During the Gulf War, the Bradley's 25mm cannon proved its power by successfully engaging enemy tanks and infantry. Imagine the sheer firepower of a vehicle that can destroy tanks and armored personnel carriers, all while carrying infantry on the move. Alongside the 25mm cannon, the Bradley carries a 7.62mm machine gun, perfect for mowing down enemy infantry. To add to its versatility, the Bradley is also equipped with seven TOW anti-tank missiles. These missiles allow it to take out enemy tanks from a distance, giving the Bradley the ability to engage threats far beyond the range of its 25mm cannon. The M2 Bradley's ability to protect and fire effectively makes it a force to be reckoned with, but its mobility is what truly sets it apart. Powered by a 600-horsepower Cummins diesel engine, the Bradley can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour on roads. When off-road, the vehicle's special wheel and track system allows it to travel over rough terrain, making it just as effective in the mountains as it is in flat fields. The Bradley is also amphibious, meaning it can cross bodies of water at speeds of up to 5 miles per hour, which provides even more flexibility in combat. Whether it's speeding through the desert or swimming across a river, the Bradley can handle it all. But like all military equipment, the Bradley has evolved over time. Its first version, the M2, entered service in 1981. It was an immediate success, offering the Army the mobility and firepower it had been seeking. However, the vehicle was far from perfect, and over the years, the Bradley has undergone a series of upgrades to improve its capabilities. The M2A1, introduced in 1986, featured enhanced protection against chemical and biological threats, along with improvements to its passenger capacity and tow missile system. By 1988, the M2A2 was introduced, which boasted even stronger armor and a more powerful engine, giving the Bradley a greater ability to survive in combat. As the years passed, the M2 Bradley continued to evolve. In 1991, the M2A2 ODS, Operation Desert Storm variant was developed, which significantly improved the vehicle's navigation, targeting accuracy, and communication systems. It also provided additional protection for the crew, ensuring their safety in the heat of battle. After the Gulf War, the M2A3 version arrived in 2000, bringing even more advanced features, including a fully digital operating system for the driver, commander, and gunner. The result was a vehicle that was more reliable, easier to operate, and deadlier than ever before. In terms of battlefield performance, the Bradley has proven itself again and again. During the Gulf War, the Bradley accounted for more tank kills than the M1 Abrams tank, a testament to its effectiveness in combat. However, the vehicle did suffer losses, with a number of Bradleys falling victim to friendly fire. 
This led to changes in identification protocols to ensure that such incidents would be minimized in future operations. Despite these setbacks, the Bradley's combat record remains impressive, showing that it is one of the most capable vehicles in the U.S. Army's arsenal. While the Bradley is best known for its role as an infantry fighting vehicle, its design has also been adapted for a variety of other roles. The M3 Bradley Cavalry Fighting Vehicle, for example, is a version of the M2 Bradley modified for reconnaissance missions. It carries fewer passengers but retains the same firepower, allowing it to scout enemy positions while still having the capability to defend itself. Additionally, the M4C2V is a command vehicle based on the Bradley's chassis, and the M6 Linebacker is an anti-aircraft vehicle that uses the Bradley platform to provide air defense. Even more impressive is the M227 MLRS, a rocket launcher system that also uses the Bradley chassis, turning the M2 into a mobile artillery platform. To date, over 4,600 M2 Bradleys have been produced, and the vehicle has been exported to allied nations like Saudi Arabia. While the U.S. Army remains the primary operator, there are discussions about the possibility of the Bradley being used by other countries, such as Iraq, as part of their military rebuilding efforts. No matter where it is used, the Bradley has proven itself as a powerful, reliable, and versatile vehicle that remains a cornerstone of modern warfare. The M2 Bradley's legacy is far from over. Over the decades, it has adapted to meet the changing needs of the battlefield, and it continues to serve as a vital asset in combat zones around the world. Its combination of mobility, protection, and firepower makes it a true force multiplier, allowing U.S. infantry to engage enemies with confidence. From the deserts of the Gulf War to the streets of Baghdad, the Bradley has shown time and time again that it is a vehicle built for the toughest missions. So if you enjoyed this deep dive into the history and capabilities of the M2 Bradley, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with others who might find it just as fascinating. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting military stories, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on this incredible vehicle. We'd love to hear from you. As we wrap up, remember that the M2 Bradley is more than just a military machine. It represents the strength, innovation, and dedication that the U.S. Army puts into its equipment and its soldiers. The Bradley is a testament to the power of design, the importance of adaptability, and the relentless pursuit of excellence in warfare. Stay tuned for more videos that take you inside the world of military technology and strategy, where each story reveals the incredible feats that keep our armed forces ready for anything.